Welcome to our Everland training video, where we will be looking at the products Viscopaste, Ichthopaste and Zipzoc. Our products have a long history in the treatment and management of venous leg ulcers and in dermatology and are trusted by many clinicians to aid healing with the knowledge that zinc is an essential trace element for tissue repair. During this training video, we will talk about the indications for the products, the key differences between them and the application technique for each product. Everlan owns three zinc oxide paste bandage products, Viscopaste, Ichthopaste and Zipzoc. One of the key differences between the products is the amount of zinc in each. Viscopaste contains 10% zinc oxide and is presented in the form of a cotton bandage impregnated with zinc paste. Ichthopaste, also presented as a cotton gauze bandage, has a lower amount of zinc at 6.32%. However, Ichthopaste also has the ingredient Ichthamol at 2%. Ichthamol is an oil-based ingredient which for many years has been used in the treatment of skin conditions, especially within dermatology departments. Finally, Zipzoc, which is presented as a cotton stocking, has the highest amount of zinc oxide at 20%. It also contains white soft paraffin, however, it has no preservatives, which means that it may reduce the possibility of allergies. Due to the higher amount of zinc in Zipzoc, it is classified as a pharmaceutical product, whilst Viscopaste and Ichthopaste are class three medical devices. All three products are used as topical treatments only and are indicated for the treatment of leg ulcers and their associated skin conditions. For example, varicose eczema and hyperkeratosis. Viscopaste, Ichthopaste and Zipzoc are also indicated for the use in treatment of chronic eczema and dermatitis. Our products are not indicated for diabetic foot ulcers and also should be avoided where there is a known sensitivity to zinc or any of the other ingredients. All three products may be used in combination with compression therapy or alternatively under a simple retention bandage or a garment. In venous leg ulcer management, if compression therapy is to be used, it remains essential to carry out a vascular assessment before applying. Viscopaste and ichthopaste are indicated for wet and dry ulcers which are surrounded by sensitive skin and are designed to relieve irritation and to soothe the skin. Zipzoc is also an aid to the treatment of leg ulcers and other skin conditions and is soothing and comfortable to wear, low adherent and preservative free. Before initial use, we recommend to carry out a patch test of your selected product by simply cutting a piece of the bandage or stocking and applying it to the skin on your patient's back. Cover it and leave it for 48 hours to ensure that there is no unwanted reaction. If all looks okay after 48 hours, you are good to use the product. When using the zinc oxide products to treat a lower limb ulceration or skin condition, the product should ideally be applied toe to knee. Firstly, Zipzoc. If using Zipzoc, trim the length of the stocking according to the patient's height and size. Remember that Zipzoc has elasticity and therefore when the stocking is stretched laterally, it will shorten slightly. Therefore, take care not to cut too much from the length. Alternatively, simply apply the full length of the stocking to the limb and fold the extra length back on itself before covering with other products. Be sure to smooth out any creases before applying compression therapy or other retention bandages. You can see how simple it is to use Zipzoc, which means that patients may also be able to self-care and apply this to their own limb. Remember that Zipzoc can also be used in other areas of the body to treat skin conditions. The application for both viscopaste and ichthopaste is the same. There are two ways that you can apply the bandages. Firstly, by simply cutting the bandage into strips and applying to the affected areas in turn. Secondly, the alternative method of application is by pleating the bandage, which we are demonstrating now. The bandage contains no elastic fibres and therefore does not stretch. Bearing in mind the inflammatory effect during wound healing, the limb may swell and the bandage must be applied in a way that allows for the swelling to take place. Ensure that your patient is comfortable with the foot at approximately 90 degrees to the lower leg. 
Start at the base of the toes and apply the first turn of the bandage around the foot and then fold the bandage back on itself to create a pleat. Continue around the foot in the same way, folding back on itself and then taking the ankle and the heel. The pleating method ensures that in the event of the limb swelling, the bandage will not tighten and create a tourniquet effect around the limb. Continue back and forth up the limb without any gaps and with a small amount of overlap, ideally just off the center so as not to create any pressure over the tibial crest. Ensure that all of the lower limb is covered and stop at approximately two fingers width below the knee area. Cut off any excess bandage. And don't worry too much about how neat the bandage looks because at this point you will smooth down the bandage before applying your chosen method of coverage, whether that be compression therapy or a simple retention bandage. All three of our products, Viscopaste, Ichthopaste and Zipzoc, may be left in situ for up to seven days. However, may be changed more frequently depending on the patient's treatment plan. When removing the paste bandage, carefully unwind the bandage from the limb rather than cutting away. In the case of Zipzoc, gently roll down and remove. One of the functions of occlusive bandages is to increase absorption. Therefore, if it's decided to apply topical steroid, anaesthetic, antibiotic or retinoid preparations under the bandage, their absorption may be significantly increased, leading to a shorter duration of effect. Therefore, please remain mindful of this. We have now completed our training on Viscopaste, Ichthopaste and Zipzoc. If you have any further questions at all, please just get in touch with us. Thanks for listening.